Today we are with the family going to Fez, the old town, the Medina and all of that and I think it will be pretty amazing because we will be going with locals and it's really, I only had like a sneak peek of what it looks like and you guys will not believe how crazy it is, how many people is around, it's really like amazing. I never saw something like that. <laughs> I hope it will be fun. So you, we will show you the, the, the ground uh, first of all, and okay. after we go to the Medina. It's the oldest Medina in the world. Super! Isabella going shopping in Fez. I am Isabella, and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian, and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. And from here we have the view of the whole Medina. Bella, you gotta film Hisham. Hisham. And me. Yes. Hisham, Uncle Hisham. <laughs> Uncle. Thank you so much, Shukran. And if you wanna, if you guys, anybody who is out there and goes to Fez, uh, just contact us and I, I give you the contact of Hisham. He has a gas station. He's, you know, he has a lot of things. He's so, so kind. He's so proud of his city and he wants to show the city to you guys. So, whoever needs a tour guide, a sleeping place, whatever, contact us, we hook you up. In nice. <laughs> Shukran. Shukran. Ven. Vamos. Ven. Pra cima. Super. Super. Yay. Isso, Mateo. Muito bem. This is more than a thousand years has those towers. This is pretty cool. Now we start the Medina. This is the medieval capital of Morocco, but also considered the spiritual and cultural capital. It is the oldest and largest medina in North Africa. Because of the history of this place, UNESCO made the Medina Fez a World Heritage Site. They describe it as one of the most extensive and best conserved historic town of the Arab Muslim world. This is pretty cool because it was the first site in Morocco to be granted this status. The oldest university in the world is here in Fez. It also has the oldest and largest car-free urban area in the world. You will see that there is no car allowed here. How is the name of those shoes? For the men, it's Belra, and for the uh, uh, ladies, I will. Check check check. Okay. This is a gallery only for shoes. And those shoes, we got told that is normally you use it, you can use inside your house or outside your house, but never in a wet surface, like never on the rain, under water, and things like that.
students of the the oldest uh, university yes. stay here to read, to be quiet. Yeah. Now they stay outside the, the, the lycée and they smoke yes. uh, cigarettes. Yes. Before, before they stay they there, stay and here. They, they read them. And this is all so by hand. All, all by hand. All you can see by hand, one by one. Wow. And oh, I think this. Uh, this uh, yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful. Not house, uh, houses. One there, one uh, there, one there, one there. Oh wow! People live inside there. Yes. Uh, inside Not one feet. family. Ah, one more than. Inside, inside, inside. Yes. Yes. You can see the door like this. You say it's small. It's so big. Okay. That's what you fit here. Yes. <laughs> you can see. Wow. You know what? It's too small because Whoa. people before the, the city don't have a lot of place. Yeah. This street is the first street that was built in the, the Medina. You heard what? That? Yes. First we are street. now in the first. So this is where it started. This starts in this. From here, the, yes. well, from, from here, here to. Crazy. Crazy. This video will be a long video, and you're gonna be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Now they just put me on the middle, they say for security. <laughs> that nothing happens. Oh wow. Sweet, sweet. Oh wow, look at this, the size. This is beautiful. It's not for it's for a horse. No, not no. for horse. For uh, moquet. For uh, carpet. Carpet. Oh, to, to clean the carpet. Not to clean. To to to. Ah, to make the hair the. The carpet. Oh wow. And you can find all kinds of things you buy here, but especially pottery, carpets, and leather boots. It's amazing. People try to talk to us and then he jumps in and nobody talks to you anymore. Ah, he wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> the bibliotech. The bibliotech? Oh, oh, nice. The oldest university in the library. Yeah. Library. Library. Leather. The final product. Final product. Now we are on the way to one of the highlights of visiting Fez, the famous tanneries. Tannery is the place where animal skin and hides are processed in order to make leather. But do you know how all that colorful leather is made? Now the, the, you smell the difference. Yeah. Uh, even we, we advance, we, the smell is the more strong. Oh, starts here. And here. And here. Can you go there to see? Be careful, Oh, wow. You will be surprised by the process, especially what actually goes inside the stone pits. In Morocco, they commonly use the skin from camels, cows, goats and sheep. They soak the skin in vessels containing a mixture of liquids to prepare the skin for processing. Wow, Matheusinho! Super, Matheus! Look, they are painting on the other side. In yellow. All the products here. Leather products. Oh, look here. To dry out in yellow. Oh, there oh it is. my god, you need to take some pictures. Oh wow, look that 
Oh my god! This is crazy! We just got taught that all this, all this in those pots down there, you, you see uh, there, is all natural. There's no chemicals used. No. And uh, yeah, that's the leather from Morocco. One thing I have to say, smells a little. Yes. You can't smell, smell it, yes. but it smells really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the view behind us. We are in Fez, the oldest town in Morocco. And thanks again to those guys. Without those guys, I think we would be lost. <laughs> I would not find my way home. Now the fun part. These liquids are a mix of cow's urine, pigeon poop, quicklime, salt and water. Now you can understand the statement of Fadan about being smelly. Like Hamza said, the dyeing process are completely natural. They use poppy flowers for red, indigo for blue, henna for orange, saffron for yellow for example. They still work as they did thousands of years ago. More leather. Uh huh. What's up? Uh, more. He's asking me for more. Oh, look at this bag. How beautiful. How oh, sweet. Close the circle. We managed. Atur in Fez. Beautiful. Was amazing. We got traditional shoes. We got uh, tea, uh, Moroccan tea can, and this is pretty cool. Today is the day we move on from this lovely place. Yes. And thanks again. Mm -hmm. They look, serve again a lovely breakfast. Again, they served a breakfast that we didn't even expect it. No, it was amazing. It's, it's, it's amazing. amazing. And this is eggs meat. and this, uh, what you see here, the black stuff yeah. is uh, meat. Mm -hmm. ah! Fresh pressed orange juice. We are in paradise. Mm -hmm. ah! So, ah! off to ah! the dunes. See you when we see you. Shukran, I turn around. Wait. Maxi, Shukran. <laughs> there we go to new adventures. In 3 kilometers, turn right onto our P5006. Next stop, Ifran. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to give us a thumbs up to go to the members area and check what is there special for you guys and see you when we see you!